Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 23rd of October where I choose just one of our many signals every day in our stock scanner membership. In the members area, our members get to download potential long and short fifth wave trade on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. So I'm going to look at shorts today. So in the members area here, very, very simple. Click on the image, download the spreadsheet, which looks something like this for today. I'm going to look at the 60 minute time frame, potential short on the 60 minute time frame. So let's have a look at the chart and um, see what's going off. So SNX, Synex Corporation, we have this really sort of long, well, medium term, this is a 60 minute time frame. Uh, are short and it's pulled back against so on the way for this is the hour time frame remember the 60 minute for SNX I'm using the think or swim version of our Elliott wave indicator sweeps also available for multi charts trade station and ninja trader so but first of all we can see from these highs um, back here we have um, the Elliott wave count from our indicator suite have given us a one two a three nice big impulse leg on the way three and then the wave four pullback. It's that that we're interested in right now. So let's zoom in and take a look. So three basic criteria filters, if you like, for our stock scanner membership on every time frame. We've got a wave four. We've pulled back against the main trend, and it's pulled back into one of our automated probability pullback zones and it's in the green zone so this represents an 85 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zones around 70 dollars here obviously we need that resistance to hold first and start to come down and we'll talk about energy strategies in a minute the first of the three uh sub charts at the bottom here the top one is the 535 oscillator this measures the performance of that wave four that has to be between 19 140 percent as you can see here I'll just enlarge that a little bit uh, of that the highest point on the wave three on the oscillator and that's within our parameters the next sub chart down is the false breakout stochastic so you see here this big impulse leg on the wave three did give us the yellow bar at the bottom denotes a very strong bearish trend it's pulled back against there very long way for this but it's still kept within the 535 so it's still good we're looking for that short and then part of our uh, day trading add-on suite which i like to use as well is our multiple time frame dot cloud now this denotes as you can see here uh, on the weekly we've got overall strong bearish trend longer term and then as we go up the time frames to this current time frame you can see we're above our um, w5t ema cloud here um, but that will turn red once we move down below the cloud and all the others will turn as well so as you can see the pullback can be visualized on this multiple time frame cloud here on these on these different time frames so we're on 60 minutes so this top row is a 60 minute and then there's two hours below four hours the daily and the weekly so as you can see here on the time on the multiple time frames we have pulled back and now we're looking to go strong again to the downside so we've got uh, our initial um, signal if you like now we've got to set up an entry strategy so we we can see this has taken quite a long time to to pull back on the wave four against quite a strong wave three we want to make sure that we're actually on the way down when we go here so what I've done is I've put the entry below this pivot point here so in essence we're way outside of our 6-4 moving average low which is part of our earlier wave indicator suite for our conservative entries but because we've got a decent risk to reward here I've actually gone very conservative here and actually put it at 76.84 entry short below this pivot point of these two days here just to make sure the momentum's building and we are moving down and we beat this initial short term support here. Stop loss is just above the wave four around about 81.25 and the target's around about $70 into our target zone here so we've got a risk reward of 1 to 1.6 while still being very conservative on this entry and that's the beauty of our stock scanner membership because we we pull in lots of these potential trades this may not even trigger today um, but what we do we start to build that watch list up and we as long as we keep in this criteria uh, and we are good to go this order will be good 
So, uh, just to remind everybody, this is potential short on SNX on the 60 minute time frame. Entry 76.84, stop loss just above the way for there, about 81.25, and then the target $70. Uh, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.